Hey, what's up, Classic TV fans? My name is Rick9G. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be talking about the Munsters, more specifically about the Rob Zombie remake. He's remaking the Munsters TV show into a movie, and I'm really excited to look at some of the release images that he pretty much released not too long ago and I try to stay up to date and release these to you as quickly as possible. If you haven't seen my previous videos, see the development. I think it's really cool how there was just like a, just a flat piece of land and then we're starting to see everything come up and there's things like makeup, prosthetics, so make sure to check out those videos as well. I'm starting out with this image because I think it's really interesting and really important to look at. This is where we stopped at last video. So this is the progress then let me show you the newest image now the reason i say that and i may go back and forth between them uh so pardon that piece over here um remember this is from the last video it should go on top of this tower if we look at the new video, it's still here and uh you see there's not much progress there in terms of the upper floor you still see wood here and then yes yeah, so there is a bit of progress um, so definitely this has been an addition, but there isn't as much as you could see because this wooden piece, I thought this would be finished. And no, it's not. It's not yet. But um, you can see that it's just small little changes. Small little changes are coming. They seem like they're really putting a lot of details. It's not a criticism at all, by the way. It's just trying to see the differences. So now I'm seeing this as we're talking about it. How yes, obviously there are this whole panel up here. Obviously the, the what do you call it? Yeah, the panels, the dark um, kind of rotted out panels that were here, here now, um, and then this is over here, um, this whole tower section, right, it's it's coming up, so that's beautiful, that is great, the Munster's house is coming along, it is nearly complete in regards to the outside of the facade, but look at this over here, this is a neighborhood home that we're looking at, by the way, I do want to make a segue, a lot of the stuff that I'm saying here is speculation because all we know are the images and I'm not going to confirm something that hasn't been confirmed. That's really important to me. Um, so what I really like about this home and I was noticing, this looks very not present. Like this looks like it's decades ago. This looks like it could fit in the 60s, which is really intriguing because some people are saying, wait, is he going to make this and set this in 2021, 2022? Or is he going to set this in the 60s? And to me, this looks old timey to me. Let me go to the next image and show you a couple more things. We're looking at the progress here of the home and the outside weathered panels looking really good. The stairs are coming up here. This is uh, basically where the front porch will be, the entrance. Remember, they're just going to build the outside. There's going to be no bedrooms, nothing like that. This is just for the camera to do opening shots from this angle. And so it's going to hide everything else. It's going to look like a complete home. Um, but all the interior shots will be shot somewhere else. You see a ladder going up here. You see a worker. And you see another worker over here, which is important because then you can get an idea of how big this structure is. I believe this is, again, not confirmed, but it seems everything's pointing to this being filmed in Hungary. Yes, in Europe. Let's go to the next one. This is a really interesting one. Look at these panels here, how they weren't completed. And it looks very run down. That's the purpose here. There's a board going sideways, very different from these boards here. You see some white here, which is definitely what you would see in the wood when it gets wet and it kind of it kind of swells up and so forth. The balcony is beautiful. I'm seeing this and I'm very impressed. Uh, you're starting to see the pillars for the porch starting to come up. And I'm really impressed at how, like, it, it doesn't look crazy. It's not something that Rob Zombie has taken and completely messed up or completely changed. It is a faithful recreation. And I'm very interested in seeing the neighborhood. You see a lot more workers. And you can see how big this is. How, you know, this is six feet tall. Multiply it five or six times. Um, I've concluded that this is about 40 feet tall, this structure, just from comparing it to the size of, you know, the average person here. Now, this is really fascinating. We don't see the Munsters home here. These are other homes. The neighborhood, the, the Mockingbird Lane is starting to build up. Now, um, the Munsters home is off camera, but I want to take a look at a couple of things. Look at the stairs going up. There's two, three sets, three small sets of stairs coming up to this home, which for some reason is set like this. Now, if anyone lives across the country, I'm in Southern California. This is not common at all in Southern California. Um, as some of you may know, but 
is this common like in the Midwest or is this common East Coast? Let me know. Why would they build this? Why would they make this mound here? I'm sure there's probably grass here, but this to me looks what 50, 60 styles. Any architectural people out there? I mean, look at this covered garage. It doesn't look like walls will come up on the on the left hand side or on the front. It just seems like a covered porch. And think about this, it seems like only one vehicle could fit here, which makes me think this is more old timey. This is more, I don't know, I'm just thinking, or wait, does the garage go in here? I, no, I think the garage is like this. Yeah, it's a covered porch. And again, I think it's like an for an old timey car to just come in here, like one, not two. Um, but that's just me, it seems like a tight fit for two. Now look at this, the garage is under the home here um two flights of stairs going up i wonder why that is the case here and going back here obviously they don't have a garage attached or anything like that that we can see this this isn't the home that we're looking at these are so this there are three homes pink home blue home and what looks like a gray home this have three steps going up this is not the same home right it has two sets of flights different stairs so there's at least four homes already constructed including the Munsters mansion so i think that's really important to look at anything that i may miss that you see feel free to put it in the comments what do you think what do you think so far it's very very fascinating now to me this looks like the first gray home therefore the Munsters home if you walk this way as my mouse pointer is doing and goes off camera you basically run into the Munsters home um, and there is a green home now so we see five homes again look how small the garage is it's pointing to a one-car garage and to me that's saying old-timey at least for me I've seen most garages are two-door these are all looking like one-door garages or at least porch style covered open garages that open style um, and I love that it's different colored homes makes me think if this is going to be filmed in black and white and I'll, again this is a speculation but this is why i'm saying the different color homes will come out different shades of gray right this is going to come out a certain shade of gray this will different you know reds and pinks look darker so these homes it just seems to me like this might be in black and white. I don't know. There's no way that I'm confirming that or that Rob has confirmed that. But as of this moment, that is my guess. Let me know what you think. I could totally be wrong. If it later comes out and it's going to be shot in color, I'll be like, oh, I thought it could be in black and white. I wasn't right. I have no problem admitting I'm wrong because that's part of the fun of this video to look at it. So previous and now. So it is coming up. Let me know what you think. Are you liking this? Are you not liking this? The more do you see, what are your thoughts down below? I'd love to see them. Thank you so much for supporting. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you do like this video. If you do want to see more videos like this, I'm really excited at the progress. Who knows how this is going to turn out, but the journey looking at it is fantastic. We'll see you next time, and don't forget, be hopeful. A big thank you especially to my Diamond Tier patrons, Kevin K, David D, Vito L, Sally N, Citizen Kane 359, Ricky, an honorary Patreon verbal volley. If you want to become a Patreon member, links are down below in the description. Thank you.